We are back and joined by our mayor, Anthony Mizzetich, and we're talking about the new council, but there have been many topics on the agenda we want to update viewers on. Let's get right to it and talk about the planning commission and the committees, mm -hmm. okay? Very good. I know at the last meeting um, there were some people that were appointed to the different committees. Um, how does that process kind of work for well, people that might not know? Well, um, the members on that committee uh, serve through the chairs, if you will. Okay. and. Uh, at some point, they come up for a uh, committee chairmanship. Okay. The persons who are wanting to be that chairman are interviewed by the city council. Okay. And so everyone goes through an interview process. They're interviewed by all five of us in closed session. Uh, I'm sorry, it's an open session okay. uh, situation. And they uh, answer questions, and we determine whether they are... Uh, Right fit person. fit okay. fit to serve as the chairman for that year. Great. So yeah. for the planning commission is Paul Tetrell. Yes. Okay. Uh, emergency preparedness is Tim Weiner, mm -hmm. and oversight committee is Lowell Niedermeyer. Yes. And were they was that unanimous? Did, were you unanimous or sometimes not unanimous? Every one of them was, was unanimous. Wow. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Every one of them was unanimous. Um, I think in the case of Tim uh, Weiner. Uh, mm -hmm. He uh, didn't have anybody that was also trying uh, to Against be, him or, yeah, okay. who was who was applying for the committee chairmanship. So he was, you know, unanimously chosen by okay. the council. Um, and uh, Paul Tetrold hmm. was unanimously chosen by the council. Wow. Uh, he also was in that situation as, as Tim because one of the other people that was looking to um, apply for the chairmanship of the committee they decided that they would withdraw their name. Okay. So Paul was there and you know Paul has 10 years of experience in the planning commission so he's it's appropriate that it's a good he fit served for him. he served this year as planning commission that's, uh, chairman. That's great. Yeah. Now Terrapaca San Ramon Canyon has been a really an ongoing discussion situation that we've been dealing with for a long time and we kind of want to get into that. It's interesting when you talk to some of the the residents in the community when you're out in the community people will say why can't you just fix that and they don't exactly realize I think that there are so many moving parts to a situation like that and and it's it, it's just it brings up for topic of conversation where are we with that and the residents have a good question sure um, what we need to articulate perhaps better mm. is that the cost to fix that canyon in the landslide and the erosion that's happening underneath the switchbacks mm. is 20 million dollars approximately yeah 20 million dollars is equivalent to the entire annual operating budget of the city. Ugh. So it's a tremendous amount of money. That's right. And so we, uh, since I got on the council, I, I wanted to make Terrapaca um, happen. Okay. Okay, that's what I campaigned as one of the issues that I wanted to tackle. And in the last two years, Terrapaca has gotten a lot of attention mm -hmm. and we've moved, a, moved it along much faster than we have in the last six years, say. Well, that's... We have gotten to the point where we've gotten half the money. We Great. received a grant from the state of California for um, a storm, storm drain grant in the, in the amount of $9.4 million. That's great. And so we're out trying to acquire, through grants, um, the other half of that money. Because in this project, it's, I, I, I realize residents say, yeah, just, just fix, fix it. it. <laughs> but it, at $20 million, you, we have to come up with that, with right. that money. And so uh, we're looking to the federal government. I was going to ask sort of, yeah, where was yeah. the rest of that? There, there is a program called, uh, it's called Tiger 4. And it's uh, uh, administered by the Department of Transportation. And I was just back in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. this past week to visit with our congressional delegations, our Councilwoman Hahn, Councilman, uh, I'm sorry, Council, Congresswoman Hahn, mm -hmm. Congressman Rohrbacher, right. Senator Feinstein, and Senator Boxer. I met with all their, in all their offices to um, garner support for our grant that grant application that we're applying for uh, these Tiger funds, which is due by March 19th. Oh. That's coming up. Yes. So our city is and, and grant writers are busy putting together our package for this um, for this grant application. I also met with the Department of Transportation, who is actually going to be receiving the grant, 
and deciding whether our grant is worthy of the final cut, if you will, and then worthy uh, see if we fit all the criteria that they're looking for to issue an award. The Tiger IV grant funds, our total amount, I believe, is um, $500 million. Oh. And, you know, across the United States, that's not a lot of money. No. And there's, therefore, there's a lot of competition for those funds. What we made um, evident to the Department of Transportation is that we have a safety issue. Not only you know, will we lose a major transportation artery if uh, the erosion continues in San Ramon Canyon and the um, part of the switchbacks collapse into the canyon. Right. It's just not a simple fix. I mean, we can't, it, the engineering and the, and the grades of that road and, and the hillside really make it difficult for us to, to make another road there. But there's a safety issue uh, down below for uh, some residents in uh, our neighboring city in San Pedro. Right. And what was the response when you were in Washington, D.C. from everyone? Every, all our congressional delegations were very much in support. Congressman Rohrbacher has already written a letter Great. to uh, Secretary of Transportation LaHood. Uh, you know, backing our proposal and, and asking him to support our, our application. Congresswoman Hans' office is uh, looking to do the same, Great. as well as our the two state senator, uh, stu, the two federal senators, uh, Feinstein and Boxer. Okay. So we have we'll have support from our Congress members. Uh, the meeting with the Department of Transportation folks. We really stressed our, the safety factor. Mm -hmm. we, said, we said this is a, a matter of safety. If nothing is done, uh, property and uh, possibly lives could be affected Absolutely. down the road. We don't know when that is. We're very fortunate to have a, a dry winter. But I would really like to start this project this year. Yeah, that's a really good point right there is we've had a very dry winter, and it, it could be just the opposite if it starts to rain, and then that becomes a bigger problem. So I'm sure that's the, the immediacy is so important of this project. It, 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 it really is, and I'm, um, I'm really going to work hard to try to get it started in this year. If we get the monies, and the tri Tiger Grants, the, their award, I believe, is in uh, May or, or June. Okay. Um, you know... Uh, as we move through the, the process to, to, to do this project, mm -hmm. um, our city staff has continued to move through getting all the permitting and getting all the uh, engineering and everything done for a September start. Great. So I'm hoping you... everything will work together. The monies, I hope, will be there as well. So it, you want everything to start together at the same time. You have the money and then the work will actually start. Yeah, I mean, we're scheduled whether we have the money or not okay. in September, <laughs> it, it, but we need the money. Absolutely. Um, and, and that's our, our primary option is to, to have the monies uh, from the federal government as well as we or the monies we already have from the state government. The state funds require matching funds. So right. we're, we're looking to use the federal funds as matching funds, and they can match each other. And, they're, and what's good about the Tiger Grant funds is that it's really appealing to the Department of Transportation that they're not the first money into a project. Exactly. They're actually matching funds, which really fits their criteria. That's great. So that's an uh, important hurdle that we already meet. Right. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because uh, your friend, uh, Joe Bus is it Buscaino? Buscaino. Buscaino came to the city council meeting. And what's interesting to me, you know, he it represents the 15th council district and that San Pedro area like you said this involves San Pedro with San Ramon and it just shows how important I loved when he got up and talked because how important it is that we all work together especially with a project like this yeah I'm I'm very pleased to have uh, Joe on board and supporting the project uh, when he was running for the the seat for the 15th council manic district seat um, he wanted to sit down with me and, and talk about uh, actually having me endorse him for uh, the, the race. And I said, Joe, I, you know, you're a good guy. I'd be happy to do that. You know, you come from the town I was born in, uh, that San gives Pedro. gives him a little bit of cred right the, there. Yes, <laughs> yes. And um, I said, Joe, you know, but if you're elected, you know, I'd like you to, uh, number one, I want to have a very close working re relationship between your office and the city of our Rancho Palos Verdes. Absolutely. Um, we need to work together to solve mutual problems that we have or challenges, and um, I think that's the first thing that we need to look at. The second thing we need to look at is San Ramon Canyon. It's, it's a situation that 
we end up losing a road, mm. but you have residents that are down below 25th Street, uh, PV Drive South, that could be affected as well if roads uh, give way. Absolutely. And so he was very, very uh, on board and, and, and shared my concerns for that. And uh, the other issue that I'll throw in too that we discussed was Western Avenue. That's mm -hmm. a common, common corridor yes. that we share between the two cities. And um, he was committed to helping, uh, you know, do some beautification on Western Avenue That's and great. improving Western Avenue uh, as a gateway for both cities. Very nice. It was nice that he came by. And yeah, he's a good guy, and yeah. uh, uh, I look forward to working with him uh, very much in the future. Very good. Well, before we go, we want to remind viewers about the monthly recycle draw. And Mayor, how does that work out for people? How do they get involved in that? Well, the, the city receives uh, 2,000 cards from uh, people who are recycling okay. the, uh, in the city. And in each council meeting, two cards are uh, randomly drawn. Okay. Okay. And then the city verifies that they are recycling. And, uh, you know, the staff will check to see if their blue and green recycling carts are placed at the curb next to the trash collection. Uh, for a trash collection day, so. And then what do they win? Well, they win a nice, uh, they win $250. That's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> just, just, for, just for doing something that is good for the environment. That's right. And uh, something that's, you know, environmentally responsible. That's right. And in addition to that, they also get uh, one of those emergency preparedness kits. Oh, very which, nice. Which, get this, is a, is a $59.95 value. Very See, nice. See, I, I can remember That's that. You know, the reason I, remember The reason I, I can remember that <laughs> is that it's $59.95, not $60 even. <laughs> Otherwise, I, I probably wouldn't that would, remember. That. Exactly. That would be too hard, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very good. Well, Mayor, uh, thank you so much for being with us today. We will look forward to seeing you again next month for your next Mayor show. Maria, it's been a pleasure, and I look forward to doing uh, another show with you in the Great. future. Great. We look forward as well. Thank you to our viewers so much for watching. We'll see you next time on City Talk. I'm Maria Soreo.